let us listen to the story of Jephthah and his daughter, which is written in chapter 11 of the book of Judges. As the Bible narrates, the leaders of that time were called Judges. Jephthah was a valiant warrior, a son of Gilead. Since he was the son of another woman, his half-brothers told him to go away from home and said he would inherit nothing from their father. So Jephthah fled and lived in the land of Tob with a group of worthless men. A little while later, he was called back to be the leader for their battles against the Ammonites. They agreed to Jephthah's condition that if the Lord gave them victory, he would be their ruler. So they set off with an army. Now, the Spirit of the Lord descends upon Jephthah. He vows to God that if he returned home victorious, he would offer the first person who came out of the door of his house as a burnt offering. Jephthah conquered 20 cities. He did return home victorious. To his dismay, his only daughter came dancing and playing the tambourine. Jephthah tore his clothes in sorrow and told his daughter about the solemn promise he had made to the Lord. His daughter told him that he must keep the promise but should give her two months to go to the mountains with her friends and grieve upon dying unmarried and childless. After two months, she did return home and Jephthah did as he had promised. The moral of the story, according to my perspective, is that we must have strong faith in God. Everything happens for a reason in God's time and we must fulfill our promises to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you.